What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Peter Brooks' character interview, the character of Stu, finally was released earlier today. And he shared with us some tidbits about what we could expect possibly from this character. And I'm just going to speculate on what these things could mean. So he told us that Stu is a loner. He's not very social. He is a bit of a hunter. He knows about the Creeper legend. And he tracks and hunts down the shurikens and he capitalizes on the creeper's legend. Now, the shurikens would be the throwing stars that the creeper uses. Uh, in the interview, we do see kind of like a glimpse of what I think is the inside of Stu's truck when he travels around doing whatever it is that he does with those throwing stars from the creeper. I'm assuming that this character has been going around collecting whatever he could find that are traces of the creeper because we don't ever see the creeper i think go back for his throwing stars they're just thrown and I, it's from what we see they just are forgotten they're just left there so a character like this could easily come by collect them who knows what he's doing with them because there's again they show like as you see here that he has a van it looks like the inside of his van is filled with just creeper weapons and he's just been collecting them maybe he's going around conning people telling them false stories about his time coming coming face to face with the creeper um maybe he's connected to the taggarts in some way and that's why he's profiting off of the legend of the creeper as well but there is a strong chance that this man is just someone who's going around collecting the weapons of the creeper and then going around conning people trying to do whatever he can to get money and he's making up stories because here on here on your right of the on the screen here this is the image from romaine Fari's art direction website where he posts props and all this stuff about movies he's worked on this is under the jeepers creepers reborn section and i think this image on the right is the inside of Stu's truck i think this is the inside of that man's truck if he's going around conning people and making up all these stories about his encounters with the creeper or something like that or just making up stories in general just to profit off of the weapons he's collecting you know this would i i think give more credit to what peter brooks says later on in the interview how when how when uh this ish hits the fan Stu's forced to come face to face with this legend and it, it's it's sounding as if he's he's gonna be forced to confront the things that he's been lying about like you you don't know the creeper you haven't met this this monster but you have no problem going around making a profit off of it so you know now you're going to get to meet the real thing probably won't make it out of it alive but let's say it's actually the other side of the coin let's say he's someone who's connected to the taggarts and he just goes around collecting the throwing stars maybe this is also a relative of the taggarts who just goes around helping collecting those weapons of the creeper and just profits off of it in that way splits the profit between himself and his relatives jack taggart jr and senior because i know i was assuming he was jack jr which he still could be i mean maybe he still is and that's just the name they're going with for the interview sake you know to not give away the surprise but that's the most we got out of that interview the character of Stu. now we know a little bit about him the only other people we need to learn about now are sam um ocean navarro's character and two other people i think one of them is michael i can't think of the other guy at this point uh we know sam is played by gabriel fraley gabriel fraley plays a character named sam from what i've gathered he seems to be a friend of of lane and chase who comes along for the festival and we don't see him in any of the shots from the from the tv spot that we got or the quick ad that we got last october we don't see him anywhere we know that he had a Hey, on he's we know he's in the film but we just don't see him anywhere so it leads me to think that he dies very early on uh and then there's these other characters that i know we don't see in the house the new house of pain in that ad so it makes me think that they also die very early on before we even get to the house but who knows this movie could go a plethora of different ways i'm very interested to see what else we learn about the character of Stu, whether or not he's been a con man going around collecting the actual weapons but making up fake stories and profiting off it in some way as a result so who knows what that character could be up to i would hope that it's the other side of the coin and of course we have some type of ties to the taggarts and you know the legend of the creeper is something he's very much familiar with because of 
the fact that he's related to the Taggarts. Now, again, if they do, in fact, go the other way and say he's a con man of sorts, because he could be something completely different other than the two things I'm proposing. If they go with the con man scenario, though, he still could very well be someone who came in contact with the Creeper at a very young age and lost some loved ones to it and has been looking for any traces of what has been left behind by it and just been picking up these things, collecting them, profiting off it still in the very wrong way. Uh, kind of embellishing his own encounter with the monster because he hasn't he wasn't the one who actually had the encounter it was a relative of his and he's never seen this monster he just heard myths about it probably been out to the taggart barn if he's not already a relative of the taggarts and he's just been conning people making up myths about the creeper as a way to cope with the trauma he has from this monster i guess so many different things to expect um i'll leave a link to this character interview down in the description of this video so peter brook Finally got that interview that I've been talking about plenty of times in a few of my other videos. We'll sh we should expect to get more cast interviews like this where they talk about their characters very briefly before it cuts off. All these interviews, they're all the same. They're all less than less than five minutes. And, you know, I know we all want something longer. We just want something that's greater than five minutes. Uh, at that point, you're going to have to wait for the movie because I don't even think the trailer or the teaser we get is going to be anything close to that, of course, because then by, by that point, you might as well drop the whole movie. You're going to give me like a five or or just drop a, a scene if you're going to give me a five minute trailer. <laughs> so if you want to see anything greater than what they're dropping right now, you're going to have to wait to see the full movie. At this stage, I'm still thinking that we'll get it in April for us here in the States since Australia is getting it in April. Germany's February release, I'm not seeing any credibility behind that other than, you know, it's just still out there saying February. I'm not seeing anybody. I haven't had anyone contact me from Germany telling me, hey, you know, I... I saw this on my website and I've bought tickets for it, but I'm seeing many people from Australia reach out to me, tell me that their local theaters are, sh are showing this in April. So maybe that's when the States will have it. Maybe we'll get to see this movie in April and we won't have to wait too much longer. So over the course of these next coming weeks, we of course will get a teaser or a trailer, uh, maybe both. We'll get a an official look at the Creeper maybe. Uh, as far as like what they should do with the creeper, I think we're all in agreement based on the makeup. They should probably keep it in as much darkness as they can and don't expose it by any <laughs> by any means. Depending on how it looks overall, we have to, we're going to have to wait. We won't know unless we actually see it in context. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss the video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.